So here we go. There's actually a, if you can see, a bit of a split in the branch over here. And that goes up. So you can see there's actually like two branches here. And that means that I'll now be able to, there will be some taper, but it's a little bit higher. So at the moment, once I've decided the front, that will become part of the tree because as you can see that goes down towards the base uh, but the thick part of the base is uh, one side is on the front of the split and one side is on the back so basically after I've decided which would be the front or the back that would then be the that would that would show me the decision that I'd have of choosing uh, which split I'd have because obviously I'll, I'll, I'd want the I'd want the cut on the back of the tree and not the front. So it'll probably take a little bit more time. Uh, what I want to do maybe now is just remove a little bit of the bottom just to clean up the tree, and then I'll be able to see more or less what uh, what I can work with and what I can't, um, and then that'll obviously also decide what what's going to become the front. Uh, because there's a nice base, there's actually a nice route, I'll turn it around and then I'll take it. Here we go, now you can see the, it's a bit noisy today, but you can see there's actually a nice base. I'll maybe just remove these branches, but there we go. Maybe you can see it over here. There's actually quite a nice little root going around there. And if you see, basically that's the width. So once I uncover a little bit more of these roots here, that might give a really nice base, sort of maybe something like a formal upper, informal upper. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of these lower branches because they obviously are not going to form part of the tree just due to the fact that they're so low. And it's going to allow me to see a little bit more of the trunk, which is the end of the game here. Yeah? Um, let's see this. Another low branch here, and that should give me, as you can see, I mean, I really am leaning towards this side as the front. So I've actually aimed the camera around this way. There are some lower branches here, but seeing as this is a, a, a totem cypress, let's see, there we go. I mean, no really difficult because the soil and the roots are basically the same but there's really a nice the root really nicely comes around and then it goes in so what's under the ground I don't really want to play around with the roots too much because of the heat at the moment um, but there are some nice some branches that I can wire down and once they're wired down um, I can obviously just bring this forward there's some branches on the back here that obviously I can clean up afterwards. I just don't, I don't want to re remove too much. And then the split is a little bit higher. So once I get to the split over here, which happens over here, so once I take this off, which I could do now, although bonsai is a, a game of patience, I guess, so I'm, I could wait until I think I'm, I rather prefer to wait until I get the wire, everything wired down, get these branches wired down because there are a little, there are a few sparse areas here I see and I mean that's just because of the, that, that is the type of tree that it is but I think one of these branches after the split could become the new leader um, and then I'll just let it fill out, I mean you've got all these little branches and once I think a lot of that has been taken out, the tree will actually take shape. Um, and, it, and when everything is wired down in, in terms of the branches, it will really start to take shape. And that's what I really want. And as you can see, there's, there's actually like a really nice, like it really flows. I, I think this is a really nice elegant tree. It will flow in here. Yeah. And that, something like that maybe, one of these. And become the new leader and then the tree will be probably about a meter a meter 20 centimeters high uh, and then I'll just let it fill in and let it 
take the shape of a nice, take the shape of actually being a nice, uh, nice formal upright, put it into a nice pot next year. Uh, I don't really want to touch the soil too much because, I mean, again, it's <laughs> we're getting up to like 36, 37 uh, degrees during the during the day. So root work, re even cutting and doing that, I don't know how how good an idea that is, but. I'm also here to learn, make mistakes, and uh, that's part of the process.